Hello, I'm Marcella Blanc, and I'm doing my interpersonal communication project. I'm a graduate student at Liberty University. I'm a mother of two, and I'm married to James LeBlanc. And for the next few minutes, I'm going to try to explain what communication is. According to Studer, communication is a continuous, complex, collaborative process of verbal and nonverbal meaning making. Uh, basically, communication is a complicated process. It's not something that we um, you can do easily. Quite honestly, it's something that a lot of us make a lot of mistakes in. Uh, some of the six features of communication is meaning, choice, culture, identity, conversation, and nexting. Nexting is one of the most significant point um, for communication skills that a person can have. And why is nexting so important is because um, you, the present, or let's just discuss the past, you can't change it. The, the present, you really can't change right now. Um, but the future, because it hasn't been written, uh, we have an opportunity to make that better. So that's why next thing is important. My overarching goal is to become a level one listener, become more empathetic, uh, care more about someone else's view, be in the present, um, don't worry about who's right or who's wrong. Being a mindful listener is very important. Burley Allen described a level one listener as the overall focus to listening from the heart, which opens the doorway to understanding, caring, and having empathy. Enlarging a conversation is basically, for me, um, having a real desire to know the other person's point of view. Um, like I stated earlier, don't be so stuck on who's right or who's wrong. Um, it's important to build something, build something meaningful, and usually that is basically building a meaningful relationship. My background, I come from a very large family. Uh, I come from a Christian home. And because of that, some of the negatives, I felt like I had to fight to be heard. I would interrupt a lot. Uh, I became very analytical and really sensitive. I would think probably I was more sensitive in my uh, younger years than I am now. The positives now, I'm more committed. I'm very committed. Um, I'm a problem solver. I have a strong faith. Um, and I have a strong prayer life. My behavioral blend, my uniquely you test result, that my this is me was a SC, my this is expected of me was a SC, which they both were the same. S means passive slash people oriented, C means passive task oriented. Some of the attributes of that is steady, uh, stable, shy, servant, specialist for the S, cautious, competent, careful, comp comp contemplative for the C. My Quindam interpersonal test results was 96 out of 100. Um, and it stated that I was extremely adept at interpreting other people's words and seeing things from their perspective. Some of the barriers, um, acceptance, self-disclosure, uh, years of bad habits, and just fear of being rejected was some of the barriers that I've had be in, the back, uh, in my background. Solutions to bar barriers, I believe that I can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthens me, Philippians 4 and 3. And basically, to be honest, according to Stuart, if you can't admit to yourself that you sometimes make mistakes, you'll find it more difficult to understand that the, the other person's story. And to be an active listener, make conscientious choice to listen. Because it's a choice. It just doesn't happen just by just existing. You have to be thoughtful. You have to take ownership and wanting to be an active listener. So that's my solution to uh, barriers. Internal and external noise. Um, for my internal noise pollution, being, is being sensitive, distracted, selfish thought, my external noise pollution, interruption, loud noise, people electronics, basically the phones, the TV, uh, people just coming in. Um, and according to Salmon and Havoc, noise is a pervasive and pollution source of stress. Solutions to noise pollution is, for me, is to pray, ask God for more wisdom, turn off all electronic devices, turn the TV off, cell phone, and focus, focus on the talker, make a conscious uh, choice to really focus on what is being said. Um, and according to Peterson, talking without accusing, get rid of uh, accuse, having that accusatory or labeling, judging, already having a pre conception of how the other person see things or what their opinion is, just totally being open um, and honest and being willing to receive that information. 
my action plan. Um, be a doer of the word, not just a hearer. And that's James 1.22. Be a mindful listener. Uh, according to Wooden, it's important to remind that one size fits all model of listening process may be conceptual barrier to truly understand what makes for successful listening. And that's just basically every person, how I talk to my husband, how I talk to my children, how I talk to someone, uh, a coworker or a client is going to be different. But what I can do with all those conversations is be respectful, um, be caring, have an open uh, heart, and be thoughtful in what I'm hearing and receiving. Because with all those relationships, what's important is to build effective and meaningful, meaningful relationship. Allow others too to be themselves. Allow them to take ownership of their opinion. Doesn't mean necessarily I have to agree with them, but allow them to have their opinion, to, to share their feelings, their thoughts, uh, to, and their viewpoint, even though they may be different than my own. And finally, pray for wisdom and guidance because all this information is great, but without the guidance and the of the Holy Spirit leading and guiding uh, me, I wouldn't be able to accomplish anything that I seek out to do. So I thank you for listening to me. I hope I've given you something, um, and I appreciate this time. Thank you. Marcella Blanc.